In Creole Parametric, the suppress command temporarily deletes objects from your model. You can suppress features from a part or components or assembly level features from an assembly. And with suppression, Creole Parametric remembers how to create different features or components. It simply doesn't regenerate those features or components at that time. So for example, let's say I want to suppress a bunch of different features. You can select them either out of the graphics area or the model tree. For example, I will select this feature, hold down the shift key and select another feature. And from the mini toolbar, this command, the one that looks like a sphere with a black dot on it, a black box, is the suppress command. And when I click on it, I get a warning dialog box that asks me if I want to suppress these features. I can click OK or cancel. I will click OK, and now those features will end up being temporarily deleted. Right now, I don't even see them in the model tree, so I don't even know that they are there. So for that reason, I recommend you have suppressed objects turned on in your model tree. If you go to the settings command and then choose tree filters, by default, suppressed objects is turned off, but I can check the box to turn the display back on. And when I click the apply button, you'll be able to see those objects in the model tree with a filled in black box next to them. That's called a glyph, indicating that they are indeed suppressed. If you make changes to your model tree in Creole Parametric 6.0, these changes will automatically be saved in your Creo Parametric Customization.ui file. In Creo Parametric 5.0 and earlier, you're going to have to export your settings file and then point a config.pro option to it. That option is called MDL underscore tree underscore CFG underscore file. So that way I've suppressed those different features. If I want to bring those features back, the opposite of suppress is called resume. Let's select those features again, and I'll use the shift key to grab them. Here is the command in the mini toolbar for resuming them. And it looks like a sphere with sort of like a triangle on it or a play button. And so I'll click the resume button and those features come back and there you can see them in the graphics area. Let's take a look at other ways of getting to the suppress command. For example, let me select this particular round in the model. Actually, let me select a feature out of the graphics area. Let's say that I want to suppress this feature. I will select it. And then in the mini toolbar, here's where we can see the suppress command. But besides using the mini toolbar, if you go to the operations overflow menu from the model tab, we have suppress. And since we only have one feature selected, we could choose to suppress from here. And now it tells me that it's going to suppress this feature. So I will click OK. And because of the option that I just turned on, I can see the filled in black box next to it in the model tree. Let's also grab another feature, for example, this protrusion. From here, if I go to the Operations Overflow menu and then choose Suppress, here I have the option to suppress to the end of the model or suppress unrelated items. Suppress all features other than the selected ones and their parents. I'm going to choose Suppress to the end of the model and it's giving me a warning that all these features are going to be suppressed. So I will click Yes. And now I can see that they're suppressed. Another way of telling what objects are suppressed in your model is if you go to the settings button for the model tree and then choose tree columns in the info group, there is an option for feature status. We can add that to the model tree. And here we can see that we have some objects suppressed here. And here's that other one. You'll notice that this one has a one in parentheses this one has two in parentheses. That's because Creo Parametric remembers the sets of features that you suppress together. And if you go to the Operations Overflow menu and then choose Resume, you could choose to Resume Last Set. In this case, the last set are the ones with the number two next to them. And these end up coming back and they're no longer having that feature status indicating that they are suppressed. 
And so there are a number of different reasons why you would want to use the suppress command. One way is to reduce your regeneration time. Another reason is to unclutter the graphics area. Also, it's used to fix different regeneration failures. But the number one use of suppression is to evaluate different design alternatives. You have some feature or component in your model. You want to see what other features or components would look like in their place. Now let's take a look at suppressing in assembly mode. All right, here I am in an assembly and I want to suppress a component. Let me select this component over here. From the mini toolbar again, I can choose the suppress command. And in this case, now I get a warning. In the suppress dialog box, it tells me that the highlighted features and components, the ones highlighted in the graphics area and the model tree will be suppressed. And I can choose OK or Cancel, but because that particular component I selected has children, now we have an Options button. And this is going to bring up the Children Handling dialog box. And here it's listing all the different children that I have for these different components. And from here, the default choice is Suppress. But let's say that I have this component, the stand, and I want this to stay in the model. If I click on Suppress, uh, from the drop down list, we have two other additional choices suspend or fix. With suspend, it's going to ignore parent child relationships for the moment, but as soon as I get out of the suppress operation, as soon as I click OK from this dialog box and from the warning dialog box, I'm going to get a regeneration failure in my model. And the suspend option allows me to keep that particular object in my model even though I am suppressing the parents. The other option, fix, is going to lock that component in space where it is relative to the assembly default datum planes. Be aware that this fix option is only available in assembly mode. You do not have that fix option in the children handling dialog box in part mode. Also, in earlier versions of Creo Parametric, instead of being called Fix, it was called Freeze. So again, I could choose to suspend that particular object. Also, some of the other different options that you have in here, if you go to the Edit menu when you have an object selected, here we have Edit References. And Edit References will bring up the dialog box that shows the different references that are used to locate this feature. So you could use this to assign new parents to the assembly references that locate that particular component so that you don't have to suspend it or fix it. Basically, you're breaking the parent-child relationships right now between the object that is being suppressed and its child. Let's cancel out of there though. And then, like before, I could choose the OK button. And it ends up suppressing. Because I chose to suspend one of the objects, that's why I have the regeneration failure for this uh, stand component. Let me close out of here. I have it selected. Like I mentioned earlier, one of the biggest uses of the suppress command is to take care of regeneration failure. So I can select it. Again, from the mini toolbar, I could choose to suppress that component. And that way, it's no longer in the model and I don't have the regeneration failure. Just want to mention a few other different options regarding, uh, or excuse me, a few other guidelines regarding layers. A lot of people say never save a model with suppressed objects. I used to say that. I've just come to find that it's really impractical when you are spending a long time in the design process, but definitely don't do any long-term saves with suppressed objects. Before you release something to manufacturing, you definitely want to take care of the suppressed objects. Also, beware of the command resume all. Again, if you go to operations, resume, and resume all, there might be some features in these components or other components in subassemblies, other stuff that I just wasn't aware was suppressed. And if I choose resume all, I could very likely end up getting a whole bunch of other different regeneration failures. And also, last thing to mention, if you go to file and then prepare and model check, 
the default settings for model check usually are going to look for suppressed objects and the model check report has finished running if we expand the component area we can see that we do indeed have a bunch of suppressed components and we can see which ones they are so again model check by default is set up to look for suppressed components I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.